Konami made some great games for the NES, with the likes of the Castlevania and Contra series debuting on the system, and the Metal Gear franchise making an appearance twice under their Ultra Games label. They were on fire back in those days, and it would seem weird that they would do anything else besides games. But lo and behold, they did. This is the Konami LaserScope, an NES controller used like the Zapper, but the big difference being as you see, and we'll see in a bit, you'll have to wear it around your head. It's like a pilot's helmet, just without the safety. As we open the box, the first things we find are the headset and eyepiece which connects to the top here. But before doing so, I'll set it aside to let you in on an interesting tidbit. When the laser scope is in this mode, and you have the right cables, you could use it as actual headphones. As shown on the box, you could use it with your Game Boy or Sony Walkman, among other things. I wonder how many people actually use this for such a purpose. Now that we have the eyepiece connected, it's starting to look like something Fox McCloud from Star Fox would wear in the R-Wing. On one side, we see some switches to adjust the volume and shooting speed, and on the other, we have our microphone that you can adjust your liking because you'll have to speak into it in order to fire. Yeah, you heard me right. The Konami laser scope is voice activated. By saying the word fire or any word or thing in general, will zap any foe on screen to an oblivion. All by the sound of your voice. Going back to the switches, I mentioned briefly about the sound which you could adjust the headphone on other devices. But you could also use it on your NES, allowing you to hear all the audio in the comfort of your ears. The box makes note of this in a hilarious way by saying, quote, Parents will love what they don't hear while the laser scope surrounds the player with the sounds of exciting gameplay action, non-players can listen to music, read a book, talk on the phone, or have a conversation in the same room. That could be true if you weren't saying random gibberish into the microphone at a probably loud tone. Before going into the gaming aspect, when you turn on the NES, the laser scope will turn on the crosshairs for a better sense of accuracy when you aim with your sharp eagle eyes. For when you mount the laser scope on your head, you'll be in for a different way of playing a zapper game. The Konami laser scope works with all zapper games, although it may not be the best option for them. Playing something like To the Earth will add more to the already difficult gameplay of the game. Duck Hunt is a step down, but it could give you some neck pain from moving your head around trying to aim. Wild Gunman is where it's at, because you can look at that cowboy dead in his eye and make him eat his own words literally. The Konami Laser Scope is a true anomaly in terms of NES controllers, or just controllers in general. It's something you should try at least once for an experience unlike anything you've ever had yet. Or maybe to just add to your headphone collection, if you have one. Got any fond memories with this controller slash accessory? Tell me about it by leaving a comment. If you like what you see, be sure to leave a like. If you think others would like this, share the video around. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button pronto. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you later.